Okay, now it says it's live after 11 seconds of being live. Come on, guys. Comments, I can see you. This YouTube app takes so long to actually, you know, get going and start showing and start streaming. Okay, now the comments are starting to come. So hi guys and welcome to another live and uh, today happens to be a Saturday and as you can see I'm very sleepy, did not sleep properly the whole week so today I decided I'll sleep properly which I didn't need care, here I am so hot right now all of a sudden the weather has changed yesterday evening it was raining now again it's become sunny I mean the good thing is the rains have gone so that the motorcycles can come out more motorcycle vlogs soon so right now I'm sitting in the BMW 7 Series, the 740Li, the petrol version of the 7 Series, which is assembled in India via the CKD route. And uh, obviously they have the 730LD, which is also assembled in India via the CKD route, but they also have uh, something called as DPE, Design Pure Elegance or something like that, which uh, comes for both 730 as well as 740. And uh, 730 also comes in the CBU format. Meanwhile, um, they have the 750Li as well as the 760Li, both of them, they also come via the CBU route. So, this is not the Hero 7, this is an iPhone 10 right now. And our face is blurred, how is that possible? One second, let me change the angle. Can, is this better? Yeah, this is better. So guys, uh, where are we? Alright, so the Jaipur plan. Yeah, I am planning to come to Jaipur on the 9th of October. That's right, 9th of October, Jaipur, I am coming. Uh, there's going to be a motor beam meet in Jaipur on the 9th in the evening around 5 o'clock around the airport is what I've been told right now by our resident Honda guy, Dhanil. So, just uh, follow motor beam on Facebook and Instagram. There will be updates updates on when the live is going to happen. And... Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting you guys in Jaipur. So I'm actually coming to ride a Suzuki adventure motorcycle to Jaipur. Now, full confirmation, once it happens, there'll be a, I think, event or something Facebook will be banayenge. That'll, that'll be the thing. And as far as Hyderabad meetup goes, Hyderabad mein bhai bhoot sare meetup kar chuka hon. I have done two meetups in Hyderabad. That's the most I've done. So I think it'll be unfair to have another Hyderabad meetup before I do a meetup in all other uh, cities. So that will have to wait. Ferrari vote results uh, end of the month apparently or start of next month so right now can't say much about it and um, basically I'm going by flight to Jaipur actually so but inside Jaipur what I'm going to write that I'm going to make a motor vlog do not worry about that and uh, BMW X5 M new, you know the new generation the fourth generation X5 has already come so once uh, that one comes to India the, its M version will also come and I will definitely review that 630D M Sport also I will review give me some time Ford Mustang versus Audi S5 I would say why not pick the RS5 it's faster uh, it goes from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 3.9 seconds the Mustang takes around four and a half set second uh, I have no option but to mirror myself because um, selfie mode pay hota hai and I can actually see and read comments if I do the other camera view I cannot see Cadillac I already reviewed the Escalade and uh, I think I should show you guys this car, right? Let's see. So firstly, for starters, this is the BMW 7 Series, like I said earlier. It's a brand new car. It has done totally 506 kilometers in total. It came to me at 451 kilometers. So I think around 50, 55 kilometers yesterday, the motor beam, dream, motor beam team drove. And, um, you know, you can change the cluster by the press of a button. So that's the Eco Pro mode. This is the Sport mode. And yeah, back to comfort. It gets a beautiful 360 degree parking camera. So as you can see, that is the parking camera of the car. Someone's moving around anyways. So, you know, the best thing about this car is they automatically it will detect. You know, if there's something around, it will change camera view. So I'm going reverse. Now, when I come into drive, I'm going ahead. I'm going ahead. I'm going ahead. Now, all of a sudden, it will realize there's an obstacle ahead. And it will turn it and show me that, you know, this is the view. So now the car is turned off on its own because Eco Pro mode. Let's turn off the stop start system of this vehicle. Well, the thing is, the interior is really very comfortable. But I'll tell you one shocking thing. Okay, guys, tell me what is missing over here. Can you see the steering wheel? This is the steering wheel of the car. Can you tell me what is missing here? Is there anything missing on this car right now? Come on, guys, guess what is missing. 
yeah it doesn't get steering mounted paddles that's right no steering mounted paddles can you believe it it has no steering mounted paddle Piyush, I have told a lot about myself already, including what I graduated in. And if that's the case, I'll make another video on it. Do not worry. So as you can see, it gets Harman Kardon audio system. Really very nice. And let's open the door of this car. So you can see there are plenty of buttons over here. So, you know, you can save your seating position. And I mean, the attention detail is crazy. But let's just quickly get out of the car and let me show you a few more things. So this is the dashboard of the BMW 7 series. Very nice, very comfortable, very luxurious. And over here you can see these are the controls for the seat adjustment. And just a lot in the seat. And the rear seat is OMG crazy. So, so once you open the door, see, see closing the door is simple. If I just close it like this and it will pull it itself inside. It has got soft door close. Let's open the rear seat doors open large there's a lot of space at the rear twin screens as well so obviously buttons over here buttons everywhere in this car <laughs> these are actually for the sun blinds uh, this is for the power window beautiful treatment somehow all these germans like to smoke with this an ashtray over here and look at the space at the rear now this is a brand new car so this film is also not removed yet which i will remove in my vlog of this vehicle lot of space inside and over here you've got massage controls and whatnot this is a samsung tab by the way so it gets a samsung tab which is saying it's connecting right now and it has got these screens over here so you can do every setting change from the screen itself comfortable seats really very nice i'm sure you guys want to see how the exterior looks this is how the exterior looks of the bmw 7 series Someone asking why BMW drivers told for not using indicators. Well, Himanshu, the reason for that is that they don't use indicators because BMW drivers uh, tend to, you know, drive more fast and rashly because BMWs are known to be the ultimate driving machine. So they give you so much feedback, they forget everything and they just like drive like crazy. Uh, and uh, now in Mumbai meetup, well, I did a Mumbai meetup recently. What to be meetup? You guys should have come there. A lot of people turned up. The rear design of the 7 series. The alloy wheels look really very nice. As you can see the car looks splendid long wide and elegant so let me quickly show you the front of this vehicle this is the front the lights are like amazing so it's got something called as BMW laser light and yeah this is the headlamp washer I've shown you how a headlamp washer works in on Instagram with the Lexus headlamp washer, kidney grill. So I'm going to use this grill and go and buy an iPhone. <laughs> I'll explain what laser light is in my vlog of the BMW 7 series. The other thing which I need to ride is this. So I'm also going to be vlogging on this one. How many of you are excited for that? So as you can see it doesn't get a tachometer it gets a speedometer switch gear over there and uh, no riding modes or driving modes or whatever modes you say but there's a red button you can see over there press that and hell breaks loose literally hell breaks loose so good amount of space at the rear this door doesn't open because there's no entry and uh, well <laughs> it's my plan actually to give beans to an auto rickshaw as well so you got a lot of cameras 360 degree parking cameras big exhaust over here Rear parking sensors, there's a rear parking camera as well. 740 Li. I need a V12 Monster actually. Let's see. I think next week I should drive a V12 Monster. A V12 powered limousine next week. Well, that would be amazing, wouldn't it be? So, here you can see. This is actually the 360 degree camera. And let's get inside the car. It feels so smooth and refined. I mean, it's unbelievably smooth and refined. There's a roof here which opens, so does the rear one. And over here we get a mirror. One second, where are we heading? Yeah, there's a mirror over here with a light. Yes, this is a petrol car. Okay, so guys, I wanted to ask you some questions. First of all, my audio clear, yeah. 
So I wanted to ask you that yesterday I put the video on Motor Beam, which is basically the Pulsar versus Yamaha fanboys. How many of you actually liked the video? Please give me your feedback. I'm reading the comments right now. Let me know how was the video. Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? How can we make a better video? And uh, usually I do a live on Saturday, not on Sundays, because Sundays usually I end up with family commitments, so I have to edit a vlog and schedule it, and then go types. So, okay, people like the video. Should we do more such videos on Motor Beam? Please let me know about that as well. Yes, people enjoyed it. That's great. And I appreciate that. Uh, a lot of effort did go into making of this video. Uh, the thing is that English may we could have made the full video in English, but then the feel wouldn't have been there. You know, that feel which you get with Hindi, that wouldn't be there. But... Uh, we also have a Motor Beam Hindi channel right now, so honestly, we can do both English and Hindi and separate ones. Range Rover Sport 2018 review, I'll try and do it soon. The thing is that uh, we got a new camera, GoPro Hero 7 Black. Now to set up that camera, it's going to take me some time and to understand it. Once that happens, then definitely I'm going to start doing vlogs faster and better and hopefully that camera will work even better than before. Oh, I have not bought the iPhone XS Max. It is a complete waste of money and I'm not planning to buy it. Secondly, um, bloopers in norm, regular Motor Beam videos. The thing is, most of the Motor Beam videos we do is reviews of cars and bikes. And it's running against, you're running against a clock. You have to finish it ASAP. So, time ni milta hai, bloopers hote ni other than the fact that, you know, when you're talking about the car, you're making some mistake or fumbling. That's usually what is it. Okay. And uh, don't worry, we're going to be making more fanboy videos. So, you know, there's another series on Motor Beam called Car vs. Bike, where actually a car fights with a bike in maybe a drag race or whatever. So, just search Honda Jazz vs. Pulsar 220. If you have not seen it, you should definitely see it. Uh, it's an amazing video we had made about Car vs. Bike. So, going to do more such videos. Baleno RS is also going to happen soon. The only thing is that in the month of October, which is starting on Monday, I'm traveling a lot. So I'm going to Delhi. I'm going to Jaipur, I think. Yeah, Jaipur, I'm going. Then I, I, where else I'm going? I'm going abroad also for a few days. So it's just a little like, you know, packed. And I'm trying to figure out how, how am I going to finish work next month? I mean, editing vlogs, a lot of lifestyle vlogs I've shot, showing behind the scenes of a drive event, how the cars are coming and stuff like that. So, I don't know how to edit it because I really do not have any time. Uh, Mumbai, Navi Mumbai meetup I will do. I am actually very busy this weekend because I don't have vlog edit hua nahi hai and because I am traveling to Delhi next week. Also for three days. One second. One second. I'm going to Jaipur twice. So I'm going to Delhi next week and then I'm going to Jaipur next week and then next to next week I'm again going to Jaipur. So next to next week wala, um, when I'm coming that time I'll keep a meetup because next week I don't have time when I'm coming to Jaipur to keep any meetup. So yeah, so Delhi, Jaipur, then Mum so it's something like Mumbai, Delhi, Delhi, Jaipur, Jaipur, Mumbai, Mumbai, Jaipur, Jaipur, Mumbai, Mumbai somewhere else abroad come back types this is like kind of crazy traveling a lot of things to do but you know, i will do do not worry um people want to listen to my hindi hindi channel is already there motivating hindi please subscribe to that and um freestyle versus next song i would suggest uh freestyle if you're looking for petrol next song if you're looking for diesel although the freestyle diesel is also phenomenal but honestly like the next is just going to be sorry the <laughs> what am i saying next one is just going to be better anyways about that car i'm going to buy we're already hunting we saw one s team we saw one baleno we saw one lancer my heart is on the lancer but i know for a fact that the lancer is going to be very 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 expensive to actually you know upkeep and modify and stuff like that isle thodi uspe the lancer se dil uth chuka hai mera so Honda City automatic or yeah, automatic. I've already done a video on that, so please have a look at that. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today's video, the live video. And uh, I love you guys for all the support, the kind of likes you put on yesterday's video. I really appreciate it. And just like, nahi kiya, please like karena, jo fanboy ka video aaya tha kal. the fanboy video Pulsar RS200 versus Yamaha R15 version 3. Please do like it. And um, someone's asking me what they think about, what I think about the NCAP rating about, of the Brezza. Well, 
it's amazing no one really expected it so what maruti is doing with their newer maruti cars they're using even better steel basically all boils down to how the steel qualities and because of airbags got four star i think global end cap mein most cars with dual airbags should get at least three stars so the brezza performed well which is very good but in child occupant safety nexon is better than brezza as per global end cap anyways guys uh, thank you so much for tuning in i hope you guys have a splendid week end and, and uh, do not forget tomorrow's formula 1 race at sochi at 4:40 pm do watch it have fun give it the beans and i will see you tomorrow in the video at 11:30 bye bye